Good evening, everyone. My name is Wasilax <laughs> Adedola Kwadeolua. And I'm talking about the synthesis of a light harvesting complex. For the past few decades, we know science has been trying to look for a clean source of renewable energy. We need something, something clean, something cheap, and affordable. And the sun in one day produces enough light that can power the whole head for a whole year. If it is properly harnessed, that's awesome. Like you don't have to, like just one day and then the whole, the whole year is covered for you if it is properly harnessed. And what we are trying to do is to use this to create something affordable. If you're in the US, you might experience blackout once in a while, but if you're from Africa, where it's like a normal thing, a few days you don't have light and you see that you're like, oh yay, you have power to do something. So what we are trying to do is something cheap and affordable and everyone can have at their disposal. So we have um, three rows of transition metals and then in the past people have used the ones on this side, that's the third row of transition metals. They've used it to harness power, to absorb and then to process. But the problem is it's expensive and it's not available for everyone. So what we are trying to do is to look for something in the first row of transition metals, somewhere around iron, titanium, so that because those ones are much more abundant, they are available and they are cheap. So that way we can be able to have everyone do that. In the past, some have used different things. They've used solar panels and all these things we know it's not cheap. So, what we, so that's why we are trying to look into this direction. So we picked chromium. That is because chromium is cheap is abundant, is available, and that way, and one more thing about chromium is it absorbs light, like sunlight directly. It, no, it doesn't absorb directly. So what we want to do is create um, a compound that will attach to this and it will help it absorb sunlight directly. So that way we don't have to worry about it working and then it can stay longer in our reaction. So at the end of the day, this is what I'm trying to create. If this is properly created, and then we can move into being able to absorb light and generate power so everyone can have it in the third world, like we call them, the African countries. Thank you.